The Gold Rush Star Parker Schnabel 11 Things You Didn't Know Hey guys welcome to my channel, Alaskan Bush People 24, please subscribe and keep watching for more details I am your friend Alina, let's start Parker Schnabel's development has been chronicled for Gold Rush viewers since the first season. His coming-of-age tale has proven to be a reality television gold mine. Do you, however, fully understand who this young gold miner is? Here are 11 facts about Parker Schnabel that you might not be aware of. The simplest part of Parker Schnabel's job is discovering gold, he recently said on a Reddit forum. He runs a 24 7 operation, therefore managing people has been his hardest issue. Early on, someone warned Parker that he could either make money by finding some gold or lose money by trying to find all of it. What 24-year-old is trying to say is that it will cost you more money to try and acquire as much gold as you can by sending it through the wash plant just once, as opposed to spending a lot of time making sure you do not lose every last speck of gold you mine. On The Neil Haley Show, Parker did acknowledge that a lot of infrastructure and a lot, well, let's just say a lot of good luck to make it happen. On the show, he highlighted that undeveloped places that are difficult to get or where people don't want to go are where mining will take place in the future. According to him, that is where the real gold action is. It eliminates the benefit of the infrastructure and technologies used in the Klondike. He thinks the highest chances for gold mining are in this area. Parker acknowledges that being outside in places like Guyana was brutal and difficult. But he enjoys the journey and experiencing new things. He fell in love with Guyana, for instance, and the people he met there. Parker made fun of Monica Beats on Twitter for not sending him an invitation to her wedding. She responded by tweeting that only close family and friends were invited to the wedding. However, she emphasized to Parker that he had been invited to both the reception and the after party. Some fans question whether Monica's marriage to someone else was motivated by jealousy and point out that there were reports of a Parker-Monica Gold Rush romance a few years ago. Parker wouldn't want Tony as his father-in-law, for sure, there is no information on whether Parker did arrive after the ceremony. It doesn't seem like he was present based on the dearth of social media posts about the wedding. In a setting like this, Parker remarked to Neil Haley, friendships are difficult. He clarified that cameras are always watching you. He acknowledges that it can be challenging to remain composed and control your emotions. Todd Hoffman and Parker Schnabel have been at odds for a very long time. Ironically, Todd's original season one squad included Parker's current coach Chris Dumit. Parker expressed his amazement at Hoffman quitting the Discovery show before Todd startled viewers with this exit from the show that is synonymous with him. However, the two minors are still not in love as he stated. I'll tell you that we're not going out for breakfast together. Parker Schnabel may thank Chris Dowmit for training him how to fight if he ever finds himself in a bar brawl. He admitted to the dirt that Chris has improved his ability to hold his own. Although Parker and Mitch Blaschke were traveling at great speeds on jet boats during a recent episode of Gold Rush, after a bizarre mishap, Mitch was taken to the emergency room. Parker claims he doesn't spend his money on unnecessary goods aside from this. He clarified on Reddit that he uses his money to purchase dozers. He does not currently own a home because he is unsure of where he wants to reside. Parker enjoys traveling, partaking in a few libations, and spending money on purchasing and maintaining his gold equipment when he isn't in front of the camera, which is often eight months out of the year and six days a week. Parker had applied to the Colorado School of Mines as a senior in high school. He believes that because of his involvement in Gold Rush and his strong academic standing, he would get admitted. He was nonetheless rejected. Parker chuckles at this, but if he were to attend college today, he would choose to major in economic history. How well-versed in Parker Schnabel are you? In the space below, please share your thoughts on what you learned or what you believe people don't know. 
Parker Schnabel, and the entire Gold Rush cast may be seen on Friday nights on Discovery. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel Alaskan Bush People 24 and stay with Yusa.